you for being here. I am deeply humbled by all of you being here this evening. I'm looking around the room at uh, folks I've known for a long time and then folks I've just got to know. And I want to thank you for your passion, for your, for your concern, your love for the environment, your love for this community, and for our country. I have to tell you a little bit about myself because uh, I wouldn't be here tonight if I wasn't uh, bringing my whole self here. Uh, I've, I've journeyed a long time, I think, as, a, as one of those green people that are below the radar that we need to reach. Um, I, I've, I have a deep sense of love for our environment. Uh, we have a ten, we have a ten year old son, uh, and I worry about his future. And I do, not just a little bit. In my guts, I worry about his future. Friends, we're, you know, and I know that we're going as a society in the wrong direction, and we're going there really, really fast. And we have a window of opportunity to turn this around and make a difference. Now, there's a couple guys over there, Ken and Jim. I go up to their place, and they feed me scotch, and we have uh, <laughs> uh, and we have lunch together. And uh, a little while ago, they uh, uh, passed me a book. They know of my love of the environment. And I got near the end of that book, and it said, you know, it's not good enough any longer for us to worry about it, you know, to do the recycling, all that's great, not buying the plastic bottles, all that stuff we know makes a difference. It's not enough. And they said, they challenged me, and then a bunch of others challenged me to say, John, when are you going to pony up? When are you going to... Turn this movement that you're feeling inside and actually get up and do something about it. And change a movement from a social movement that's broad in this country and change it into a political movement that can really change things. And that's what we're about in this election. You know, out in Guelph, and it's been amazing as I've gone out, and Rob is amazing at getting me out. I'm scheduled out on the square all the time. I don't know where that's coming from, Rob. It's just going through my black my, my Blackberry thing. I'm supposed to be out in the square. But it's been amazing because I've been meeting people. And, you know, people have a heart for what we're about. People know that what we need to do, they know that we have to move in a different direction. And they're feeling very, very alienated and frustrated by what they see happening in Ottawa. Incredibly so. As I've gone out and talked to people, Person after person says, you know what, I'm fed up with voting for my third choice. Green is in their hearts. And so what we have today is a widespread movement across Canada where people really get it. They know, they're looking for hope, they're knowing that they want to move away from fear into a new future which is a hopeful one for themselves and for their kids. And so our challenge is to take a movement that's broad in this country and turn it into a political movement, the way they did in Egypt or Tunisia, where people are saying, enough of this, and we've got to have the breakthrough. And this is the place I believe we can do that, and I hope for Elizabeth May, and I hope for some of my colleagues as well, running across this country with people like you who truly believe that this needs to happen. And so I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank you that you're part of this movement, changing that and transforming that into a political movement that's going to change our country. And I feel incredibly honored to be able to have the, the support and the encouragement uh, and the courage that you give me. Uh, Rob, you're amazing. Uh, he's got to draw... <laughs> Laura, she's here all the time in the office, and uh, she's doing amazing things with Cher. They can come and help them, uh, because they're, they're out here, they're ready, they're ready to funnel uh, energies into volunteers and phoning. We've had some young kids even in here who are making phone calls. We need that momentum where we're uh, unleashing the, the potential and the possibility of what is already out here in this community. And 
I'd like in, to invite you to begin conversations. You know, we need to talk to our kids. And I'm going to, every all candidates meeting that I go to, I'm going to challenge everyone in the room before they vote to go to talk to their kids. Talk to their grandkids about what they really care about. It's not F-35 fighters. <laughs> all right. That's yeah. it. It's not more prisons, and it's a democratic place where they're going to have a green future and not some job in the mall. <laughs> All right. So challenge each one of you to begin conversations with your neighbors, and try to connect with where, where their deep feelings are, and what their deep hopes are for this country, and for our society and to translate that into a political movement that is going to reshape this city and this country. Friends, I'm honored, deeply, deeply honored to be in this race. I look at Mike. Where's Ben over there? Mike, uh, where's Mike's? There you are, right in front. Uh, I think about the, the, the work that you have done to bring us to this place, and I want to thank you. And I'm, I'm going to do my utmost to build on what you have uh, and have the breakthrough that we're all hoping for in Guelph. Thank you for being here. Do have a chance to, to enjoy the food, and I look forward to having a chance to meet every single one of you. Please, please as, uh, sign up as Rob invited you to make contributions. That's going to make a huge difference. Uh, to volunteer, to get out there and meet and share with your neighbors. We are going to be able to do that. Thank you, and I look forward to uh, a great campaign with all of you. Thank you.